Hello and welcome to MediSimplified. So in this video we will talk about Strider. So what is Strider? It's an important topic uh, as concerned about ENT and also an important topic related to child children. So what is, uh, suppose this is a uh, airway lumen and the air is passing very normally through it. But if in this airway lumen we get some obstruction, any kind of uh, tumor or abscess or anything which is causing obstruction in the airflow passage of the airway it will increase the air resistance and it will lead to um, turbulent airflow and this turbulent airflow is known as strider which it will create a sound which will know, which is known as strider so what is strider basically it's an abnormal high pitched breathe sound it's an abnormal high pitch high pitch breathing sound breathing sound produced due to produced due to uh, produced by the turbulent airflow which I told you turbulent airflow through the narrow air passage any kind of obstruction in the air passage will cause the turbulent airflow which will create a high pitch breath sound which is an abnormal sound so strider once again is an abnormal high pitch breath sound produced by turbulent airflow through the narrow airway passage airway passage is here so if it is narrow it will create a strider so strider uh, when can we hear a strider it can be observed when uh, in expiration when we are expiring the air it can be observed during expiration it can be observed uh, during inspiration when we are inhaling the air and, I, and or it can be heard in both the time so it is called as biphasic strider so it can be observed in expiration, inspiration and bif it can be a biphasic so here it can be an inspiratory strider it can be a biphasic stri uh, strider it can be a expiratory strider so Inspiratory strider. In inspiratory strider, it is often produced if the obstruction is at the pharynx or subglottis level. Whereas the expiratory strider, it is produced if the obstruction is at the level of thoracic trachea or bronchi. So this is very important to know uh, that uh, the level at which the strider, strider is heard. So example of inspiratory strider is laryngeo, laryngeo malicia and retropharyngeal abscess. Example of inspiratory uh, strider is laryngomalacia and uh, retropharyngeal abscess. Whereas example for expiratory strider we have tracheal stenosis. We have tracheal stenosis. We can have a foreign body in the bronchial. So bronchial foreign body. Also for biphasic, for biphasic we can uh, the obstruction is usually at the level of glottis, subglottis, and cervical trachea. So example for uh, or the example for biphasic strider it is heard in the laryngeal papillomas it is heard in laryngeal papillomas it can be heard in subglottic stenosis it can be heard in subglottic stenosis and vocal cord paralysis cord paralysis so this was the example the phase once again just remember inspiratory strider if the obstruction is at the above the glottis that is supraglottis or epiglottis or at the level of vocal cords the biphasic strider is heard when the obstruction is at glottic region or subglottic region and below it at the level of trachea and bronchioles the expiratory strider is heard so strider which is an abnormal high pitched breath sound produced by turbulent airflow and uh, through the narrow air passage it is very common in the children and infants strider is common in children and infants so there might be some reason why it is common in infants and child so let's get to know about it so it is Suppose this is a lumen of a child and this is a lumen of airway lumen of an adult. 
so we can clearly see that the infant's or the child's airway is airway lumen is narrower than the adults the airways in the is narrower is narrower than adults so any minor reduction any minor reduction in the airway any minor reduction in the airway it will cause the narrowing or obstruction of the airway all right and this narrowing or obstruction of the airway it will exponentially increase the airway resistance which will make it difficult for the child to breathe so it will increase the airway resistance which will make the child difficult to breathe so infants uh, they are more commonly affected because they have a narrow lumen so there are here is some causes of strider in children and infant it can be a congenital strider it can be an acquired strider example of congenital strider are laryngomalacia which is most common laryngeal web subglottic stenosis hemangioma vocal cord paralysis tongue and jaw abnormalities whereas the acquired ones are divided into afibrile and febrile and the examples you can uh, see here so it is common in children just because the lumen is very narrow and there were the some examples now talking about the etiology uh, this strider may arise from any lesion uh, in some region so this regions are a nose first of all nose any obstruction or lesion lesion in the nose may cause a strider any obstruction or lesion in the tongue will cause a strider can cause a strider any obstruction or lesion in the mandible can cause strider any obstruction or uh, a lesion in the pharynx in the region of larynx in the region of trachea and bronchi can cause strider strider once again it's an abnormal high pitched breath sound produced by turbulence airflow through the narrowed airways now here are the some examples in neonates laryngomalacia is the most common cause in children laryngo tracheo bronchitis that is croup uh, is the cause acute epiglottis can also be seen in nose the cause of uh, at, uh, this thing strider is coronal atresia for tongue uh, if there is a macroglossia one more thing for nose uh, this coronal atresia in newborns is uh, commonly seen as compared to adults talking about tongue macroglossia hemangioma lymphoma in mandible micrognathia and one syndrome that is pierre robinson syndrome is also responsible for strider for pharynx any abscess or trauma larynx paralysis of vocal cords and trauma pharynx one more thing abscess and tumors trachea any kind of tumor or foreign body or stenosis can cause a strider for esophagus any foreign body lodged in the esophagus can cause strider any tumor or abscess in the neck can also cause strider so this was all about the strider thanks for watching the video hope you liked it uh, it's a rather video about a sign not a symptom so i tried to cover all the uh, aspects of the strider strider which is an abnormal high pitch sound breath sound heard due to increased turbulence heard due to increased turbulence on the of the airflow through the narrow airway passage it can be inspiratory it can be an expiratory strider it can be a biphasic strider the obstruction level and examples i have mentioned it is common in children and infants the reason being a narrow lumen and the consequences of it i have already mentioned it, the strider in children can be a congenital it can be an acquired strider for congenital strider laryngomalacia it is the most common strider uh, most common cause of strider in children as well as overall in adults or in general the strider can be caused due to obstruction in the nose tongue it can be obstruction in the mandible pharynx larynx trachea and bronchi so this was all about uh, strider uh, thanks for watching the video hope you liked it please like share and subscribe my channel medi simplified